drugstore dupes, buy this, not that, cheaper and better, that kind of thing. Let's get into having all kinds of fun finding some really affordable products that act every bit as good as high end. Hi friends, we always talk about what I have on. I love this top today. Very lightweight. I love the sleeve. I bought a medium because I had bought one that was from this same company and it was a little bit too big. I wish that I'd bought a large. So this is true to size, just so you know that. I love the ruffle details on it. I love the gathering on the sleeve, the buttons. I love the color. I love everything about it. The weight of it is fairly lightweight. It's like a cotton poly blend. I really like it a lot. And then I put on a pair of my very favorite earrings in the whole wide world and these are the cutest butterfly earrings and hopefully they are not sold out the one that goes on to your actual earlobe and then the one that dangles down and then you have some posts that just dangle down i just think they're so dang cute i love them i've had them forever and just really like them also everything will be listed and linked below in a numbering system um my fingernail polish the makeup that i wear that i don't talk about all of that will be listed down below and the products that we talk about on camera will be listed one through however many we get through and you'll be able to shop that way down in the description box. All right, let's get into these drugstore products so that you can see what I'm so very excited about and can't wait to share their bargain prices with you. Let's go. All right, a lot of these, like I said, are dead on dupes. Some of them are buy this, not that. Some of them are, I like this better than I like the high-end one. This happens to be one of those that I like better than the high-end one. Okay, Max Cream Cup uh, Lipstick. One of my favorite lipsticks to wear with any sort of a lip liner because it kind of just gives you this glossy beam color on there almost like a highlighting stick does for your cheeks but on your lips and it's so pretty so you're not going to be able to see it super well but you can tell that there's a little bit of color there and you can tell that if you were wearing it it definitely would have a, a lighting effect on your lips and that's why i love it and i've been wearing it for years but the reason that I like this one better, which is a Maybelline lipstick in Blushing Beige, is because this one has a tiny bit more pigment. So you still get that highlighting effect, but you get just a little bit more pigment that shows up a little bit better. So it looks even more highlighting than the cream cup. Same exact consistency on both of these. They're very satiny. They're very lip balm-like, but in a lipstick. And I love Maybelline's lipsticks anyway. They're some of my very favorites that I feel like could be high-end, should be high-end. So, so good. The next one is an eyeliner that I love. I love Urban Decay's 24-7 pencil. And this one is called Deep End. But these are expensive. And they, they really do kind of set you back. They're over $20 at this point. I do know that. But this is a gorgeous teal color kind of, you know, just really beautiful ocean, deep ocean teal color. So pretty. But Sephora has their 12 hour eye pencils as well. And I can't see what this one is called. So let's put the spectacles on. This one is called Peacock Blue. And you will see that this one dead on dupe. And I'm not kidding. Consistency, wear time, everything. And I think that the one from Sephora might last longer on your eyes. So Definitely check out that dupe. It was one that I just absolutely loved. And both of these are ones that you have to use a pencil sharpener for. You can't, it's not automatic. So kind of same thing here we're looking at. Another one that I fell in love with this year is from Jouer and this is their hydrating setting powder. Now I don't know so much about the hydrating part. I don't think it's super hydrating, but I do know that this powder is something different and I love it. It's like a no powder powder. And although you can see some on my hand right there or on my finger right there, when you put it on, you can't really see it. Oh, I have a pretty bracelet on too. Pretty gold little link bracelet right there. <laughs> It really is just a setting powder that is so light and airy that it feels like nothing on your skin. This is one that is so light that if you do have a problem with everything looking really dry on you, you can use this in a very light hand and still, still set down your under eyes if you need to. It's just really beautiful. But I also did discover this year from Wet n Wild, the Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. And this one has the same property. You do get some up, but when you put it on, you can't see it. You can't feel it. It's super light. It's super airy. Now, I might like this one from Wet n Wild a bit better because I do feel like it's a little bit more buttery, whereas this one from Jouer might be just more on the dry side than this one. But 
wow it's so close it's so close now they don't look close in color and the wet n wild one does come in different colors and the jouet one does come in colors too but wow for me to save that kind of money and when you get it on your face for it not to be any different that was something really great let's talk a little cheek blush cream blush this one is from merit it's their cream blush this is such a pretty color it's just a really natural this is called cheeky by the way it's just a really natural looking color um it, Anybody that's very deep can wear it if they just take time to build it up or if you're very fair, you can just really sheer it out. Just depends on how you like it. Good delivery system because all you have to do is dot and then put some on and it just, it does work really well. I'm going to go ahead and just dot this just a little bit on here and then just, you know, buff it in with my finger and you'll see how quickly that does the trick. So it's so pretty. It just works out really pretty. And I really love the blush. It's very balm-like, but it seems to set down very, very quickly. And I really do love it. But this is expensive, really expensive. And then I found this one from Flower Beauty. And this is their Gel Crush Lip and Cheek Balms. And it looks like a little bitty deodorant. <laughs> And it just works every bit as good. Let me look and see what the color of this one is. Blackberry Crush. It definitely might be a little less pigmented than the Merit one, but so very close in the color. And when you get it on your cheeks, there's no way to tell the difference. I'm just going to dot here just a couple of times. And then I'm going to just really lightly buff it in so you can see. It's so pretty and it just it really is very close in the way that they perform and the way that they act and the color. It's just so, so close. And definitely if you're looking to save some money and save your budget, I would definitely look into the Flower Beauty instead of the Merit. Just such a good deal. Another powder that I did show quite a while ago, but I ran across this in the back of my drawer and I thought, why am I saving this? And then I remembered that when I was very first on YouTube, I used this as a dupe. And this is the from Pat McGrath Labs and it's the Under Eye Brightener. Now this isn't my favorite powder because look how brightening it is and how white it is. When I get it on underneath there, I feel like it shows a little bit of texture and that to me even though it is brightening it is just a little bit too much underneath my eyes and it felt a little bit too drying but it really does its job once you get it on there and you know you're not using it that much you're not using as much as what I just put down but it really does brighten up it has this really soft candlelight look to it but what I decided after a while of working with it is it just wouldn't work for me because it showed up too much of my lines and my wrinkles underneath my eyes. But I was working with my e.l.f. HD powder one day, Perfect Finishing HD powder. First of all, when you look at them like this, you will see that they are so darn close to each other in their color. And then as I was reaching into the e.l.f. one, I felt like it's so micro smooth super super smooth and super light and super airy and what i liked about it is that once i put it on even though there was a tiny bit of a white cast there wasn't as much as there was of the pat mcgrath i don't know if that's the reason that they're saying that it's so brightening or not but i felt like there was no reason to spend i think this is about 30 some dollars i'm not exactly sure i'll have to put it up on the screen but this one from elf is like seven or so I just cannot justify, you know, when it's the, very close to the same thing. The texture of them are exactly the same. This one from Pat McGrath might have a tiny bit more sheen in it or a little tiny bit more glow in it. But as you can see right there, you really couldn't tell the difference, especially if you're standing a ways away. So I felt like this was a really good substitution on this one. Let's talk about another lippy. This one is from BK Beauty. Didn't they do a great job on their lipsticks? They really did. And they're balmy and they're just yummy. They have the prettiest colors on their lipsticks. This one is called Self Love. And it's like this mid-tone peachy pink color that is so flattering on so many women. Again, it's a balmy color. It looks very kind of satiny on your lips. It does not dry you out. It's there for a long time. It's a really good formula. I really appreciated that. I love these bullet too. It's got a magnetic thing on there. So the closure is like that. She did a great job on those. But this one that I found from Revlon is called Pink in the Afternoon. And you're gonna be really surprised, I think, when you see these two together. So there they are. <laughs> Same formula. I think Pink in the Afternoon from Revlon has a little bit more pigment in it. So I feel like it stays around a little bit longer. 
exactly the same exact color and the satiny formula of it and just the fact that it is kind of glossy and pretty and yeah, just really was excited about that when I found it for a dupe for you guys. Next is about a buxom liner. I love these liners. I love the tip on them. Um, it's so good. And I don't know if this one is a limited edition or not. I don't think it is. I have no idea what it's called because there's no, since I got it in a set, I can't tell. I will try to find it and put it down below for you all. Now this liner is kind of like a medium consistency creamy stays on really really well the other thing that i love about it is you can fill in your lip line with you know your lips completely use it as a lipstick it's got an automatic you know turn up so you don't have to keep worrying about sharpening it it's just a beautiful great lip liner and the color is really good too you can put peaches or pinks with it and or just a lip gloss over top of it it's gorgeous and I found this one from Maybelline. This is the color Sensational. And this one is in the color Almond Rose. This is also an automatic liner. And it also has a liner on the bottom of it. So you can keep that line sharp if you want to. And when I found this one as well, I was like, well, there you go. This Almond Rose might be a tad, just a skosh lighter, but the consistency was so close and the colors were so close. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. We spend so much on this. I think this is around $20. And when I got this one on Amazon, it was around six. So for me, because once you get this on, you're not going to be able to tell a difference. I would reach for the Maybelline over and over again because it's going to save me that money. Consistency wise, same exact thing. Helps your lipstick to stay on and not bleed out of the lines. And yeah, as far as I'm concerned, winner, winner all the way around. The next one's a little bit different because I got this little sample of the Stila highlighter. This is in Kitten. Now, when I put my finger in here, it really feels like it's a cream. I, can, I know it's powder because that's what it, the packaging said, but it feels like it's so creamy and I was just really in love with it. Now that is such a soft, subtle highlight. It can be built up to give you super duper glow, but it's so pretty and I was really impressed. I, I had never tried any of Stila's um, highlighters before. So this was really something that really impressed me and I love the way it lay across my skin. It was just really gorgeous. But as I was using another one in my collection, I was like, I think I like that better. Super Shock Formula from ColourPop in Smoke and Whistles. And this one really surprised me. First of all, I love these because they are that cream to powder formula. And every single time I put my finger in one of these, I'm like, I don't know why I try any other highlighters. This is so close and so, I just could not believe it when I started putting it on and then saw it next to the one from Stila. It's just so gorgeous. I really do think that it's something very special and there they are side by side. And then of course the look of them is identical. And even if they were like a half a shade off, which they're not, but even if they were, you wouldn't be able to tell that. And I am a big time junkie of ColourPop Super Shock Formula. Their Super Shock Formula is what reeled me in in the beginning and yeah, I've been a diehard fan of them ever since. Now the last one comes from Fenty Beauty and I do love Fenty Beauty. I think their products are so, so good. And I love all of their cream cheek products. They're amazing. This is their cream cheek blush. And this one is in Bikini Martini. Such a bright bubble gum pink color, isn't it? It's one of those that you just go, wow, that is really bright. And so pretty. It really, really, truly is a pretty, pretty blush. Little bit of a firmer formula. It just feels like it really hugs your cheeks. It's just gorgeous. But then I found this one from Moira, their new cream blushes. And I was like, oh my goodness, I think that's just about the exact color. This one's called I Miss You. I will tell you that this is way more balmy than the one from Fenty. So this is like um, an uber cream on your cheeks. But what's interesting about it is you're going to get more color, but at the same time, you can most definitely shear it out. It's the same exact color once you shear it out. And if I were to go into the Fenty one one more time and put it down here, you would see how close they are. It's amazing to me that the two of them, 
I had these in my collection and then all of a sudden, bam, there it is. You know, such a good dupe for it. And a little bit more hydrating on the Moira, Moira one, but it is just such a good blush too. And you get about the same amount in each of these, but I think that the Moira one is about half the price of the Fenty one. And for that, I don't care. <laughs> and plus with the Moira one, um, in, when it's so dry or if you're very dry, you're going to like it because it is a little bit more balmy and you're not gonna really need a highlighter with it because it's gonna make your cheeks look really juicy and just so pretty. So I really did like that dupe too. And guess what? That is the end of our dupes today. So I hope that you did enjoy seeing all of these and let me know down in the comment section if you've ran across any really good dupes lately. I would love to hear that from you. Please give the video a thumbs up on your way out of here. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here as a part of our YouTube family. Thank you guys for being here until the end of the video. I love you all so very much and come back around really soon. We'll be together. Take care. Bye friends.